Hi guys, Mikko here. Today we are gonna do an experiment. At the moment I'm in Orbeck, France and today I'm going to drive about 400 kilometers to Ghent in Belgium and I'm gonna do a dashcam video. This has been requested a lot lately and I'm not sure how it's gonna go but let's try it out. Let's have some fun with it. Let's see how it goes. GoPro is set on the road, let's get going. It's a beautiful day today. And we're off. I'm always a bit scared that I forgot something and something is gonna just fall out. Maybe some cupboard was left open or something like that. Yeah, because when I drive this thing, it's very noisy. This thing is so noisy when it's on the road. Like all the stuff in the cupboards, they're just like shaking around. Here? Really? Oh man, not from here. Bad GPS. No, not from here. Let's figure out a different route. Let's make a U-turn. Oh, there's, there's a lot of space. Yes. Yeah, Orbeck is such a small town. There's like I have no business there with this big RV. It just doesn't fit, but the GPS wants me to go through the village, but I'll go around it. Because small villages and big RVs, they are a bad combo. Luckily, I know my way around here. Here you get to see a glimpse of the beautiful town of Orbeck. Oh my god, this is so steep. Yeah, no problem for my diesel. Okay, there's a toll booth coming up. Yeah, these road tolls can get quite expensive pretty quickly. My drive from Belgium to here was about 35 euros in toll boots alone. I'll probably have to pay the same amount now. But yeah, the toll boots can be avoided by planning a different route, by going through smaller roads. But at the moment I'm willing to pay a little bit extra for the time saved. And I know it sounds like it doesn't make sense because like what's the rush but also I just don't want to spend too much time on the road at the moment when I like going back and forth. I just want to get this over with and then when we've set our course to directly to the coast then I can take a bit of like slower detours when I know that I'm at least going to the right direction but at the moment I'm going to the opposite direction of the coast so yeah I just want to get this over with all right time for a break in 100 meters at the roundabout take the third exit onto the 829 ramp exit the roundabout onto the ramp I thought I followed the right signs, but apparently not. Yeah, there's usually always a separate parking area for campers and caravans. Let's see if we can find it here. Yeah, I thought I followed the signs, but... Ah, okay, yeah, there it is. At the there's a spot. Take the first exit onto the A29 ramp. Okay, very cool. 200 done. 
let's stretch the legs a little bit. Okay, a nice little break. The GoPro seems to be out of battery. So hey, I'll drive rest of the way without the camera. Let me know what you thought about this dashcam experiment. Maybe things that I can do differently. Please tell me in the comments. But hey, I still have a couple of hundred kilometers to drive today. So see you in Ghent. And I'm in Ghent. Found free parking. <laughs> Look at this place. Full of campers, caravans, buses, trucks, everything. They do boating contests here, so many of those huge trailers are probably related to that, but also many of the caravans look like permanent dwellings. This is a good spot in a way, because my RV doesn't attract any attention here, but at the same time, like this place is not cozy at all. It like, it feels really shady and crappy and the overall Feng Shui is really bad. But yeah, I'll stay here for one night at least. New day, new adventure. Let's go and explore the city of Ghent. The city of Ghent has many nicknames. The historic heart of Flanders, city of all ages, medieval Manhattan, Europe's best kept secret, just to name a few. But I have to say that Ghent definitely is one of the most beautiful cities I've seen during my adventure so far. The amazing medieval old town is made totally free of cars and is very well preserved. Let me show you around. The castle behind me is called Gravenstein. It dates back all the way to the 12th century. Since then it has served many purposes. It has been a courthouse, a prison, a mint and even a cotton factory. Truly a breathtaking building. As a nice contrast for all the medieval beauty, Ghent is also very friendly towards street art and graffiti. You can even get a map of the greatest art pieces straight from the official tourist office. But the definite hotspot still is this graffiti alley behind me on Vergarenstraat. Let's go check it out. As an observation I have to say that the actual quality of the art on the graffiti street is kind of bad but also it makes sense because whatever you paint there it will be painted over the next day so nobody bothers to paint anything exceptional there. But that being said it serves as a great training and proving ground for the up and coming aspiring street artists. I think that's enough of Ghent for now, let's head back to the RV. Okay, introspection section time. I feel like I should work more. I feel that I should throw myself into the process of making videos more. I feel guilty that there's not enough hustle behind these videos. And then again, I should go easy on myself. I just came up from a major depressive slump. I cannot jump into super hustle mode instantly. Then again, I feel like the work on the videos would be easier and more rewarding if I put more hours into them. 
At the moment it feels like I'm just throwing something together. I feel like I should fully commit to the vlogger lifestyle and film almost all the time instead of just like every now and then as I do now. That way I would achieve flow states more often and the work would be more rewarding because the quality would be better. And also because of better quality the channel would have more opportunities to grow. And I know this is basically the same old song I've been yapping about since last fall. But I can't escape these thoughts. I feel like I should be doing more. What I mean is that even though I upload only twice a week I should still work hard every day. The problem is that this kind of creative work where I'm the producer, director, writer, videographer, editor and the main character it's kind of messy. There are many times when I'm just kind of unsure of what to do next. Also, I'm constantly looking for opportunities to film stuff around me. And many times I decide not to film. Maybe the location or the small detail wasn't interesting enough. Maybe I didn't find a way how to add it to the main story of the video. Or maybe I just felt that, nah, not gonna film right now. And I know what many of you are thinking that Mikko, you stress way too much about stupid shit. You're free. You can do what you want. Enjoy it. Don't take so much pressure about your videos. Just do what you feel like doing. You're privileged. You get to do whatever you want. And hey, you're right. I should embrace the freedom and not worry so much. Then again, freedom is only a part of the equation in the life I'm trying to build. Freedom is not everything, it's only a part of the puzzle. Another equally important part is being productive and making stuff happen. More importantly, building something myself. I've helped other people build their dreams. Now I want to build something of my own. And so far it has been coming along quite nicely in fact. I just feel this constant pressure that I should be putting more hours in. But the thing is that the inner pool of resources is limited. And maybe that's part of the solution, that not only hustling more, but also being okay with hustling less. Yeah, heavy introspection today, also same old song. Let's cheer up by reading your comments. Artu Koliander writes, a very good video, keep it up. Thank you so much, feels great to get feedback like that. I'll do my best. Louis Oliviera writes, Hi Mikko, do you play any musical instrument? Guitar maybe? That's a nice challenge for the autumn days. By the way, nice footage from Orbeck. Great that you feel comfortable driving. Just try not to get too confident and enjoy the trip. Stay safe, man. Hey, I definitely know what you mean by not getting too confident behind the wheel. That's when the accidents happen. You get more experienced and then like, mm, okay, this is easy. I can relax now. And that's when you stop paying enough attention and the probability for an accident skyrockets. Thanks for the reminder, Louis. As for the musical instruments, I did guitar lessons as a kid and also played bass guitar in a couple of bands. But since then, the musical side of me has kind of slipped away. I have my old trusted acoustic guitar here in the van, but I think I haven't played it once. But maybe I will someday. Maybe even soon. Verna M writes, beautiful video again. For the summer bucket list, try not to take too much stress about the list. <laughs> Yeah, in the previous video one of you suggested that I should do a summer bucket list. A list of things I need to do during the summer and by the end of the summer everything has to be done. I love that idea and I'm gonna do it. But some of the items you've sent me are super hard. Like this one. Try not to take too much stress. Yikes! Let's see how it goes. Let's see if I can pull it off. This is by far the hardest so far. I'll do my best and I hope I won't let you down, Verna. No stress, starting now. Matthew Anthony Lovely has another item for the summer bucket list. A handstand push-up without wall assistance. 
Yeah, thanks man, love it. A physical challenge. And that will take a lot of work. I never had a solid handstand, even though I have practiced it. Also, my upper body strength is not what it used to be, so this will be a very good exercise. Even for surfing, surfing actually requires a lot of upper body strength and especially stamina, because most of the time you're not riding a wave, but instead you're paddling as hard as you can to try and catch the wave. So thank you, Matthew, this is a fantastic challenge even if I don't pull it off by the end of the summer and if I do it's a great party trick and imagine the bragging rights awesome <laughs> but hey I think that's all for today if you enjoyed the video please hit that like button also leave a comment keep those summer bucket list items coming my way they've been awesome so far and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and see you on Saturday